ever wonder how the cultural elite acquired their taste for fine things? Uh, they must have spent some bucks, huh? Perhaps, but there's a better way. Huh? Thanks to the magic of subliminal education, cultural knowledge is being impressed in your mind. Huh? Now, challenge yourself with a quiz. You will be timed by two volunteers from the audience. No, it's your parents' buying power that keeps you looking sharp. And their buying power depends on their education. Get it? I get it. Education equals buying power. More studying means more money. Excellent. Then I'm gonna send my parents back to school. <laughs> Excellent. Now it's time for our champagne quiz, which is challenging, exciting, and also fun. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. No good. Yeah. Yes. Well, not so good. Yes. <laughs> the worst. Oh, man. Good year. Yes. Very good. I get, I get, I get, I get. Very good. Oh. No good. Oh, oh. I get it. Excellent. Oh, man. Well, not so good. Oh, man. <laughs> the worst. Yes. <laughs> the best. Aw, 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 aw. Good year. Yes. Very good. I 
always imagined I would end my days as a fixture at the artist's bar in the Oriental Hotel, lost in the atmosphere of the glorious era now forgotten. I would be drinking the Singapore Sling, legendary cocktail invented by bartender Johnny Kwan in 1912. I wondered if anyone still knew how to make this concoction, or even if they remembered it at all. There would be murmurs of recognition in Cantonese, yes, the favorite beverage of Joseph Conrad in Somerset Mall. Rabbit footsteps down the back alleys of Singapore. To the tiny apartment where Johnny Kwan, now 97, was close to the end of his days. With the last of his energy, he scribbled the recipe in Chinese characters. Here it was, the immortal Singapore Sling. The bartender offered me a gift. Perhaps Conrad, my mom, had left the instructions. If someday someone were to order the revered Singapore Sling, present this to them as a token of mutual understanding. I have it still. Kids, stay in school. Remember when stores sold information right off the shelf, like canvas? Yes. I don't even remember stores. More stuff. Check it out. In days gone by forever, automaton makers were the equivalent of today's superstars. What drove the automaton makers to such tremendous feats of accomplishment? What drove the automaton makers to such tremendous feats of accomplishment? What drove the... Attenzione! Grazie! Che disgrazia! Buono! Buono! Che disgrazia! Buono! 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 Grazie! Grazie.
Welcome. Goodbye. Well done. That's me, two years ago, as an exchange student, learning the customs of another culture. The benefits of exchange extend well beyond the years spent abroad. Now I'm well-rounded and have a strong sense of where I'm going. you don't stop don't stop don't stop don't stop thank you get lost buddy i don't give autographs wonder when those famous inventions got invented? This toothpaste is better than all other brands combined. And it's a lot easier than having to combine all the other brands. Numbers go on forever. Huh. Hmm. Go on forever. Nah. They gotta stop somewhere, right? Nope. There must be a last number. Nope. Gotta be the highest number. There's always one more number. Forever. We 
read their mind. work has become so valuable that it was worth more than money. Oh, thank you, maestro. Now I can retire to the Riviera. Despite being born illiterate, Edison overcame this handicap and went on to become a famous inventor. This cabinet contains some of the actual materials I tested when I invented the light bulb. But... Did you really have to test all this weird stuff? I'm going to make myself perfectly clear. Why do I need an interactive telephone? 
Why do I need something that sits on top of my phone so I can interact with it? I'm satisfied. I just bought the latest model. Listen to this. That's my daughter. Isn't that great? You can call me a couch potato, but I'm satisfied. Look at that. Interactive telephone. Forget it. Bye. Upon seeing a performance of one of the earliest motion pictures, a simple film of a steam engine, Tolstoy left the theater utterly depressed, lamenting that he had been born too soon to participate in this miraculous new medium. Hold it a minute. Like, he was still alive, right? He could handle it. He's the best. Go for it. Do it. Do the movie thing. The café has always been the essence of French society, where intellectuals and workers alike gathered to exchange ideas. There used to be more than half a million cafés. But today, there are fewer than 50,000 remaining. Cape Cod is shaped like an arm. I just like to animate stuff. Is that so wrong? Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just... License, please. Ah, oh, shit. I've had it. There were 75,000 telegraph operators in the United States in 1875. The fastest telegraph operators could afford luxurious homes and were held in high regard. So, you're a crow. Cool. Give me a break. This 99 cent chip is a thousand times faster than that guy ever was. Give me a break. This 99 cent chip is a thousand times faster than that guy ever was. Ever wonder how magicians make elephants disappear?
Look, such a nice restaurant. And to think that we ate at that terrible place. These are my animations. I made them. Pencils aren't actually made of lead. They're made of uh, some other kind of stuff. Do you know what it means to miss New Orleans? Wrong. Correct. Correct. Wrong. Correct. 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 Wrong. Correct. Wrong. Ever wonder why those old days people are always grinning like idiots? Um, those guys are senile or something, right? They've been grinning like that ever since they were kids. Actually, life used to be a lot simpler. Well, how would you like to have a brand new penny? Gee, thanks. Now I can buy a delicious red apple. Hold it a minute. Technology made people get that way. Who are you calling senile? We worked for a living. Here's my old log cabin. They called me Honest A. Get a life. <laughs> Get a life. <laughs> Sorry, the correct answer is C. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Get a life. Ever wonder how those old days sea captains learned the names of all those sails?
Now you can learn the same way I did. Study this chart for a minute. That's enough. Here's the quiz. Click on the correct answer. You'll be timed by the Titanic. One thing, I don't have a lot of patience. Hmm, you were lucky that time. Man, you are a real idiot. Why are you wasting my time? You have no value as a human being. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? All right. How are you today? How are you today? How are you today? Hey ho! Hey ho! Hey ho! Hey! Hola! 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 A tie! A tie! A tie! Bye. 
Uh oh. A familiar dilemma facing the neophyte art collector is the need to differentiate between Monet and Monet. These are the wizards who create the exciting special effects in today's movies. And they're all so young. But here's the key difference. Monet paints mostly people. Monet paints mostly outdoor stuff. Show me the Monet. Grazie. Do you know any Chinese characters? Well, there's this crazy artist, Bing Wong. He paints landscapes on grains of rice. Not that kind of character. I mean... How can anybody read something like that? It's not hard. The first one means three. Wow. The second one looks like a guy playing music. It means pleasure. I get it. Three pleasures. So, what do the other two mean? Uh, I don't know those. Here are some more easy ones. Sun. Okay. Mountain. Okay. River. Okay. Tree. Okay. Person. Okay. Then there's eye. Nose. Mouth. And get this, an eye with legs means to see. It's the walking eyeball guy. I can't stand it. Are you sure that's what they mean? Are you sure that's what they mean?
Ha! Go for it. Correct. Wrong. 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 Correct. Wrong. Go for it. Wrong. Wrong. Correct. 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 Wrong. Wrong. I'm in my own world. And you better stay there. At a weekend party in the Hamptons, Scott and Zelda boiled all the guests' handbags and tomato sauce. Why'd they do that? Um, they epitomized the youthful exuberance that characterized that era. Zeitgeist. The spirit of the age. Oh. Last night, I attended a Chinese banquet. It was great. I got to sit next to the host. Guests at a Chinese banquet are seated according to their importance, with the guest of honor seated opposite the host. Oh. Give me a break. In the early 70s, Sir Anthony Hopkins was signed to play a role in the movie version of George Piper's book, The Girl from Petrovka. <laughs> Hopkins searched all the bookstores in London, but he couldn't locate a copy. <laughs> then, on the way home, he came across a copy someone had left behind on the subway. <laughs> Two years later, during the making of the film, George Piper appears. He needs a copy of the book. He had lost his own copy somewhere in London. Is this what you're looking for? It's mine, the one I lost in London. Look, these are my notes. Yeah. <laughs>
Hey, that's some fine sounding music. Uh, it's not fine sounding music. It's a reproduction of fine sounding music. In a recording studio, a microphone reacted to the sound waves from the music and changed them into electrical impulses, which controlled a laser beam, which created corresponding variations in density on the surface of a compact disc. My CD player decodes the signals and makes them into sound waves again. That's, that, that's, aw that's awesome! And then the sound waves cause the eardrum to vibrate, and the brain translates this into the sensation of hearing. Education is not filling a pail, but starting a fire. There used to always be a guy in here. You mean, like a mugger? No, it was his job to run the elevator. Like, he pushed the buttons for you? Yeah, right. The pencil eraser was invented in 1858 by Hyman Lippmann. And in 1995, young people cleaning graffiti erased part of a 15,000-year-old painting in a cave in southwest France. Education, 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 education,
นั่นนาฬิกาใช่ไหมนั่นไม่ใช่นาฬิกานั่นอะไรนั่นหนังสือนั่นไม่ใช่นาฬิกานั่นไม่ใช่ดินสอนั่นอะไรนั่นนาฬิกานั่นหนังสือใช่ไหมนั่นหนังสือนั่นอะไรนั่นนาฬิกานั่นดินสอใช่ไหมนั่นไม่ใช่หนังสือนั่นอะไรนั่นหนังสือนั่นไม่ใช่หนังสือนั่นไม่ใช่ดินสอนั่นไม่ใช่นาฬิกานั่นไม่ใช่หนังสือนั่นไม่ใช่ดินสอนั่นไม่ใช่Been causing a disturbance. I gotta take him back to the station. Let's get to Eden. Let's get to Eden. Let's get to Eden. Let's get to Eden. The net is young. Wanted to get one of those jobs on a movie set where everybody is always standing around a buffet table chatting. You need to have a relative in the business to get a job like that. And this program will find you one. What if you were to suddenly jump into a period movie set right when the camera's rolling? Would that take you back in time? Hey, buddy, you can't go in there. Wow, it's the old days. Time is like a line. Gotcha. Points on the line represent moments in time. Uh huh. If you loop the line around, time repeats itself. Whoa. I gotta get out of here. Great. They're making a movie about the future. Hey, buddy, you can't go in there. Say, this is really good. No two people's fingerprints are exactly alike. Yeah. Yeah. 
I always wanted to get one of the <laughs> Ever wonder that if you wake up from a dream, you simultaneously go to sleep in a parallel universe? Hey, I'm not thinking there's a real orchestra in here. I know it's just a recording, and I can live with it. Ever wonder how they steer those helicopters? Hey, who cares if you know all that stuff? It is essential that someone knows all that stuff, or else everything will come to a complete halt. Digital wizards. Oh wait, no, this was on the skip list. There were 75. Sorry, Chad, that's bonus content. You're gonna have to uh, check out the Vince World full playthrough for that content, whenever that may be. Maybe on someone else's channel. Everyone.